So we're going to talk about upgrading the OS or putting on an LG patch on a device. Do a side load and probably a stage now load as well. So I have a TC52AX here. So I'm going to go to mobile computers. From this point I will go over to TC52AX and I will go to TC52X GMS devices, which these are. And so let's see what device or version this one's on. So using ADB, I'm gonna put in the devices. Serial number, and then I'm gonna come here. And so what we'll do is we'll go and we'll go to settings. And then we'll go all the way to the bottom where it says about phone go all the way to the bottom and it's down here whoops uh, where you see this is build 11 15 21 so if I look here it's pretty old 11 15 21 was released in October of 2021 so first I'm just gonna go just for this example more than likely you'd want to just go all the way to the latest April of this year and you can do the full update. You can grab this whole one gig file and download it. Um, but for this, I'm going to get one of these 1126s and uh, we'll upgrade it with ADB to sideload the device. So I have this version of ADB running my remote session here. So what I'm gonna do is bring up another one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it uh, put it in recovery mode. So some versions of ADB don't need this dash S in the serial number. Normally you can just put in ADB reboot recovery. And when you put it in that mode, you're gonna see, yeah, it's gonna drop off and go away. The device is gonna get in a mode to where it's gonna come up with this screen here. This is called the recovery screen. And so you're gonna use the volume button to scroll down to apply upgrade from ADB. And once you do that, on the bottom of the screen, it'll say um, you can sideload. So you can also, if you wanted, have an SD card in the back and you can apply an upgrade from there. But for what we're gonna do, I'm gonna do a sideload using ADB. So on my device, I selected this and then I pressed the power button. And then you'll I see at the bottom that it's ready and I'm gonna say ADB side load and then let's just do this 26 version first and then I'm gonna send it. So what you should see is it um, running. Uh, some emulators will do this. It's gonna go through each percentage all the way to 100. Some will just automatically count up on the same line. I'm not sure why this is doing it. Sometimes it may not get all the way to 100 but it, uh, once it comes back to here uh, then it's done and what you'll see is it'll be back at this screen and you press the power button which will reboot the system and do the actual upgrade. So now that the device is back we can just go check and we go to settings we're gonna go all the way to the bottom about and at the bottom we're gonna see here build 112605 and that's what we just did um, we were on this 1115 and then now we're at 112605. Remember we did a full update, but uh, now this has been updated. So um, let's try now. So that's a side load and um, you know, just uh, something else you can think about as well is if you go into system, right? Anything on Android 11 uh, and you have a contract, you know, service contract with Zebra, you can always turn on auto updates as well. So as long as you have that, and once this checkbox is checked, actually we can go back and you can see, uh, so enrollment not enrolled, message received, right? Um, so we come here, we check this box, uh, and it goes out over the Wi-Fi, and you'll see this changed to enroll, <coughs> to enrolled. We may need to just let it refresh. Now, We'll see what happens after our next update. Maybe it's a version issue, has to be on a newer version. So um, next we'll do a stage now, which is more of an automated, automated way. 
So we'll say create new profile here. And we're going to do perform OS upgrade. Create. Oh, just let me make a note here. Something that's very important. Every device comes with stage now. And let's just make sure the versions work. So view client info. Here's our MX version, 11.5. So when we do um, the stage now, we can change this to uh, like 11.5 if we want. Okay. And that just has to match. You just have to be at least at the point to where you are. You can do a 10.5. It would, it would still work. But uh, let's just uh, be on the, on the greatest list. TC uh, 52AX, we're going to go A11. So we'll just start, and then it's going to start up a wizard. So um, we're just, we're, uh, the device is already connected. Um, an update, I would like to make a full OS update. And then what's my update method? I want to... It's not present on our device. I did not put it on, so no. Um, would I like to prevent? Yes, I'll just prevent my Wi-Fi from turning off. <clears throat> and then it will say, continue. So the target path, I will just put it in the root directory. So I'm gonna type in SD card. And I'm going to go into my file here and get the name. We're going to go up to an 113024. And we're going to call it that. And then I'm going to say, uh, where's my source file? So my source file is going to be where Okay, built in, so that's built into this PC. The stage now is running on this PC. So I'm going to go select the file, and it's going to put here. So it's built in server. My device is connected to Wi Fi. So it's going to use this PC to get the file from and put it in the directory I put here. So over here, I'm going to say continue. Asking, do I want to change the Wi-Fi sleep policy? I'm going to say no. And then I'll say continue. And then it's confirming this is the file I'm going to update to. I'm going to say continue. I want it to apply the update. It can be encrypted or unencrypted, it doesn't matter. I'm going to say complete portfolio. And then I'm going to say a stage now, test. And that's going to bring up um, Acrobat. So this file will be sitting in Acrobat for the barcode for the OS update. So remember, I'm already connected to the network. I'm going to bring up the stage now client on my device. Let's see, and then I go, don't need to see that anymore. I go back. And then at this point, this point, I want to scan this barcode so now you see it scanning complete in progress what it's going to do is it's going to download first so once it downloads you're going to see it download and then once it's done it's going to install so we really looked at two things today is you can do a side load of the operating system um, remember full updates and LG updates, you know, you can do these um, staggered. So either you're going to go from Delta to Delta to Delta, or like we did today, skip a whole bunch of versions and go straight to a full update. You can't go del you know, from one old version to a Delta. So it has to be uh, all the way up. Um, and so this is basically taking the file off my PC and here. So I could scan. Once this is done, I could scan the next device. I could scan a couple at a time. It all depends on your bandwidth, but you can use Stage now to do these OS updates or LG updates, or once this reboots, it's gonna have um, enrolled in the uh, automatic OS update. Just a key to that is before you ever deploy multiple OS updates, you make sure the applications that you're using will work on them.
Thank you.